Oh, hello. What watch? He's the worst. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday today and we are on our way to a big mood shoot. It's an all day shoot. We usually do all of the episodes for the month on one day. So it's gonna be a long one, but we're here. It's morning, we're doing it. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's also our merch launch day. You can oh officially God. purchase these if you would like. It's very limited time. It's not gonna be around forever. And you definitely want it if you wanna be like part of the really cute pretty girl gang. Mm -hmm. Pretty girl gang. Was that, what was that, Gina? Pretty girl gang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty girl gang. <laughs> and now, we drink wine and we watch Love Island. <laughs> There's nothing better. Do you like, like Love Island? Yeah. Yeah. Three syllables to say yeah. To Three say syllables. you, to say you too. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it takes so long to have a conversation. Especially the one dialect where she's like, If I say Connor wants to have lunch with me and I don't want to. The best thing is when they go, I don't know. The, girl, the other girl goes, like, what do you think? And she's like, I don't. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, it took that long. She had to run her hand through her hair. They always do that thing in reality shows, right? You run your hand through your hair, you mm -hmm. look this way. I don't know. <laughs> so there was a new girl that joined yesterday and now today there's gonna be new guys. New dramas. New dramas. All the dramas, all the time, Love Island. That's my pitch. Love Island, actually. Oh, why do we like Love Island better than Bachelor? Uh, Bachelor? It's just more, there's more couples. So it's more real and people don't get sent home right away so you like get more attached to them. And nobody goes like, uh, like oh I'm gonna win, I'm gonna get my man. Yeah, shit. they're all kind of just like really courteous. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. And, yeah. they, and they and they it seems like they actually want to win and they actually have love in their heart. And they genuinely want to be a couple. Yeah, and this girl's our favorite. Yeah, this is our favorite girl. Her name's... Uh, Shauna. 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 And I like other Nikki too. There's a girl who's like a Nikki lookalike on the show. I don't really think she. Her. Her. She doesn't really look like me though. That's why I root. I root for that girl because she looks like me. Because she looks the most like me. I think her name is Sophie. 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 That's Callum. Hello. Good morning. It's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm excited for it. It's 10 a.m. right now. Game starts at 3:30. Um. It's a new month, so I just did my bullet journal. I really like these colors in this spread, and I guess red is really, red's pretty fitting for the Super Bowl since both teams are red today. I wanna, I wanna usually come up here and drink my coffee and journal, but there's certain things that I just want to be clean, and I feel like if I sit down to write in my journal, I just won't get clean, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna start cleaning. I'm just gonna start cleaning. What? What do you want? Like what do you want? Bowl, like Stupid Bowl Sunday. I'm here for the commercials. Yeah, Stuber Bowl Sunday. Stupid Bowl Sunday. I'm here. We're here for, I'm just here for the commercials. When does commercials start? <laughs> Dude, we both had the same take on the Super Bowl, but without even asking each other. So both of us want the Chiefs to win. Yes. Really bad, but yes. we think that the 49ers are probably going to win. I do, but I but yeah. only because, dude, defense in Super Bowls is is a uh, Super Bowls. Pretty toughy. It's a toughie. Yeah, well, I think that 49ers have a good defense and offense. Whereas they do. They I can feel run like the, ball. the Chiefs have a really strong offense and an okay defense. If you don't care about football, basically all we're saying is the Chiefs quarterback is super, super, super good, right? Patrick Mahomes is so good. Yeah. The Chiefs have the ability, or the, the Niners have the ability to run the ball, so they would keep the super good quarterback on the bench because they're yeah. running clock. Right. So that's what I think is going to happen. Well, yeah, they have just more better, they have more quality players. More better players. More better players. They are more better. They are more better than they're more better than the 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 dun, Chiefs dun. <laughs> than the Chiefs. But I want the Chiefs to win because because they haven't even been to the Super Bowl in like fifty years. Fifty years, yeah. So that's nice. That I, I root for an underdog always. But honestly, the Patriots are gonna win today, somehow. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how. That's true. But they're gonna win. Anyway, I gotta clean. Excuse me. I'm busy. I'm cleaning. Okay. I'm cleaning. I'm busy. Like you clean up. Excuse me. That's not efficient. You can clean now. You're the worst helper. No help. The worst. I'll help. What? Watch. He's the worst. Put something in my hands. I, I can pick it up. 
But then I have to pick it up to put it in your hands. Look, easy. The system needs work. Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels, too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a bear and a fun. Growing up is just a trap. Don't it seem like a drag? Do you ever want the worst person to help you make a bed? Uh, I got a I got a worker for you. Also, favorites time. Okay, so this comforter is a Buffy comforter, and I think I've talked about it a couple times. We got sponsored on our Big Mood podcast with a Buffy comforter, and it is my favorite sponsor that we've had so far. This comforter is so comfortable. Um, but then on my House of Limo account on Instagram, Buffy also reached out and asked if I wanted uh, a whole sheet set and duvet cover. I don't know why I've been blessed with bedding over the past couple months, but holy balls does it make a difference in your sleep. This uh, duvet cover mixed with the comforter and then this sheet set and uh, pillow set is the softest, most comfortable, most luxurious sleep experience that I've ever had and including any hotel I've ever been to and any bed I've ever slept in ever this is the most comfortable bed I have ever slept in and not sponsored in this video at all this is like purely I was such a Brooklinen person before this and I'm not sponsored by Brooklinen either but uh Brooklinen I thought like oh wow I'm an adult I'm upgrading this is like so good but this blows everything I've ever tried out of the freaking water so it's made from eucalyptus fibers which I guess is supposed to be softer than cotton which to me I mean I don't I'm not a softness expert but I can say that this is way more comfortable than cotton. Um, I will say, oh, and then the way that it's designed, I'm just going by the talking points they give us like when we have to do the ad reads, but the the design of the comforter is super breathable. So if you're someone that like sweats a lot when you sleep, this type of fiber will help uh, help you not get so hot at night. I will say it's a bit on the pricey side, but so worth it if you're like looking to upgrade your sleep highly 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 recommend um they also do a thing like uh i think they have like a some sort of free trial period it's like 90 days or maybe it's 30 days i don't really know i know there's a free trial period so like if you did want to try it and then you weren't sure if you wanted to like completely invest um they let you return it if you don't like it but oh my god so uh i just changed out the duvet cover and the the sheets but like whenever we have to s wash these and switch it out with the other sheets i get so sad because this this combination is so much more comfortable but anyway um so that's my favorite of the week for you to know about um i'll leave a link but again not sponsored other thing i wanted to do today before we have to go to the super bowl party it's already 12 20 we have to go either we have to be there at three and I kind of want to take a shower too because my hair is like, whatever that is, whatever that's doing. The other thing I wanted to do was fix up the backyard because it's been insane looking uh, for the past two months. Um, it's been raining randomly outside and, and I keep not fixing up the backyard just in case it rains again. Like there's like, you see those clouds in the distance that might be rain again. I don't know. I'm not used to it raining so sporadically and often, but uh it has been, so I'm gonna do it today though. I'm gonna put out, I'm gonna take out our fall pumpkins <laughs> that have been back there forever, and I'm gonna uh, put down, um, I have new pillow covers to replace the fall covers. My new thing has been, instead of buying pillows whenever the old ones get janky, I've been buying pillow covers, which is so much cheaper, and it's so cute because you can like switch them out for the season, um, but right now I have like fall everything down there and I wanna switch everything out, so let's go do that. It's looking crazy out here. What's going on, Franklin? How'd you even get out here? <laughs> Hi, are you gonna help me with the backyard too? What a helper guy. These are the pillow covers that I had bought for fall and these are the pillow covers that I bought for 
I don't know, whatever we're in right now, regular land. I wouldn't call this winter, but <laughs> it's like a, just a general ass theme. Okay, this is worse than I was expecting. So there's like spider webs all everywhere. There's just so many spider webs and dirt and stuff. And then I went to, I saw this big spider web and it was behind this cushion. And I went to examine it and I think that, I think this might be like an egg sack or something. Uh, I think it looks like, it looks like um some sort of some sort of egg sack. I'm not into it. Ugh. I don't know enough about spiders. I just don't like it. And then I found some cat throw up here. This is fun. What a fun time. I thought this was just gonna be a bunch of like, um, switching out blankets and pillow cushions, but no, we're having a blast. We're having a really, we're having a party out here now. Like putting all of your joy in a big brown bag. Yo, this Tikka Marsala bowl from Veggie Girl is bomb. And I love their buffalo wings. They are vegan buffalo wings, but they're delicious. Well, this is fucking gorgeous. Yeah. In the front row, kicking back old school trash like damn. There's a movie theater in this house. Wow. The part of the brain. Like, in other words, we live in a world where that's actually moving. Actually. Yet we can't access. I mean, visual, like visually moving at the very least. Yeah. Right, visual. Yeah. And so, what this does is it opens up the part of the brain and it allows you to see things like that. Or to this line. Can't get enough of this more like I don't need no I am. Ladies and gentlemen, as commissioner, of the one on waivers fantasy football league for the year 2019 i would like to present oh my god our first trophy of the evening for our last place recipient boo, uh, boo. somebody who stuck with antonio brown through thick and thin <laughs> even when he chose no longer to participate in the <laughs> Kept him on his roster throughout. <laughs> Someone could have picked him up. Oh. He, has, he has proven himself to the league year over year. A uh, a wonderful competitor, except for this season. <laughs> a surefire win for everybody but him. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Bruick. Yeah. Woo! Hey, the loser should only be met with booze, by the way. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> The Golden Sack Award, <laughs> the most sacked player in the fantasy football season, as you can see yes. here. You have a wonderful set of golden uh, truck nuts, yeah. as well as a I got sacked at fantasy football license plate frame. Yeah. Uh, to explain what happened. Oh, to explain yourself. With pride. And, wait, there's one more thing. You also get a little sack keychain. Uh, <laughs> And you also get an air freshener that smells like shit. You gotta yeah. put it in your car. You are trusted as custodian of the wonderful golden sack. I trust that you will treat it with pride as if it were your own sack. <laughs> <laughs> and, guide, and, and guard it for the rest of the year until someone either, either you, you continue or someone desacks yeah. you. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Do you, he, he, you have to put that in your truck? No, no, no. This, this I just display. So no, you can put it on your truck. It's you gotta want. go on your truck. For it's gotta go in your car. Something, right? There okay. needs to be video evidence oh, yeah. of it being on your personal yeah. vehicle, yeah. sir. A man who has won this league more times than anyone else by quite a big margin at this point. Uh, four times out of nine, yeah. which is embarrassing for the rest of us. Uh, Mr. Philip DeFranco. All right. It's All right. a big sum of money. <laughs> As well as our first commemorative fantasy football. Right. Wow. With his name engraved on it not once, but four times over the last several years. No more dildo trophy? Congratulations. Yay. Oh, nice. Give it to him. Give it to him.
my god. Watch, they don't even fucking run it. They throw, they throw it, yeah. Go, 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 get it out! Uh, <laughs>